Hey guys, how's it going? Magnum Highway here, and today we're going to be learning God is Dead by Black Sabbath. Um, there's no quick preview at the start of this video, but I'll put up a little link there to the quick preview. It's also down below in the description. And some of the parts in um, this video require distortion that I played clean, because it's easy to hear the notes. So they might, si they might sound a little meh. But um, keep that in mind, guys. So anyway, we'll get started. Okay guys, so it's an E-flat tuning, um, yeah, down below in the description I might link something that could help you out, and I'll just refer to the strings as their names in standard tuning, just to make it easier for everyone. Okay, so we're going to start learning that cool picking part that also plays in the verse. Um, we start off with a power chord on fret 7 of the A string, and it's only, we only use two fingers for this power chord, so it's fret um, 7 on the for the A string and fret 9 for the D string and we leave the E string and G string open and then we strum downwards from E to G and then what happens is our ring finger switches to our middle finger so you take it off and our middle finger needs to be on the D string, fret 6, and use the exact same pattern. And that's basically it for most of the song. So all that happens is that from this shape, we switch to that shape, which is the same, but our middle finger is on the D string, fret 6. Now for that intro part, it does change from occasion. Um, sometimes in the intro, he'll go and all that is the same shape, but now we put our pinky on fret 10 of the D string. So that shape with our pinky on fret 10 of the D string, and you just strum downwards. And then this shape with our middle finger on fret 6 of the D string. Then sometimes he'll pause. And that's just pausing on um, the D string fret 6. And then other times he'll do this. And that's slide up to on the A string slide up to fret 9 and then you hit the D string fret 10 9 on the A string and then you go back to so that's just 9, 10, 9 okay so now we're going to learn that part after the intro I'll play it through first goes on like that. So nice and simple, all power chords on the A string. Um, we go from 5 to 7. Power chords all, all on the A string. Then again. Then we go 9, 10 and hold it. And then it continues like that. And then just on the second time around, it goes and he adds in that extra power chord there and then it goes back to that check out the quick preview if you're confused but yeah 5 to 7 twice 9 to 10 and then the, on the very last one it'll go to that so that's just on the that extra part is on the E string now E string power chords and we go seven six three and then into that um, intro or verse riff so yeah um, seven six three 
all on the E string. So we'll get on to the other parts right now. Okay, so now for the chorus, it goes something like this. And it's nice and simple. We start off on the A string. We go our power chord on the third fret of the A string. Then we go to the second fret. And then on the E string power chords, we go three, two, open. Second, third fret to second fret, third fret to second fret, then open. And the cool lick goes. Um, I like to slide into it. You can, you can um, just do whatever you want. So we go seven, six, five. Seven, six, five on the A string. Then seven, then seven, six on the E string. Open, six, seven. 7-6-5 on the A string, 7-6 on the E string, open, 6-7, power chord, same thing, but then now open, 6-5, play through nice and slowly, then we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so there's this cool power chords part. Um, you should recognize it from the song. And it goes on. But the main part goes power chords all on the A string. Three to five. Nine ten, and then back to three, then five again, and then the next part. But we'll go through this first again. So three to five, nine ten, back to three, and then five, and then this is the second time around. It switches up. Ten, we go nine, ten, nine, five, three. Nine, ten, nine, five, three. So we hit the E string open. I think it's like four times. No, three. A string seven to ten power chords. Hit the E string open again. Then that's seven to six. So this is what you should have. Seven to ten. Um seven to six. play it through a few times slowly and then I might explain it later. So that part
part's quite easy. Um, you go open, 7-5-7. Seven, seven. On the D string, 5. That's 7-5 seven, and then 7 on the, a, on the E string. So 7-5 on the A string. But then 7 on the E string. 5 on the A string. Then 5 Six, five, six, no, seven, six, five. Open, three, five, oh. And shortly after that, we go, we go into a nice riff. It goes on like that. Um, but we've got. E string power chord, open, and we go, and then we put our, mid, our middle finger down on the third fret of the E string, and then you add the rhythm. And then we go on the E string, we go from 6 to 5. So this is what we got. Six five, and it just goes on like that. All right, guys. So now I've got possibly my favorite part of the song: the chords that go with the solo. I'll play it through first, and I'll show you guys how to play it. It's nice and simple, all the um, power chords on the A string. So we go from 7 on the A string to 9, 10, 9, 10, then 12, 5, 9, 7. One more time. Here we go. 7. Um, 19, 12, 5. And then after that, um, the solo will come in, which we're not actually going to learn in this lesson. Well, if this gets like a thousand views, I'll probably put out a solo lesson. But yeah, until then, don't forget to subscribe, guys and request that lesson for the solo down below. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button. And this is Magnum Highway, signing out. So thanks for watching that video guys. I upload videos weekly, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put your requests in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, check out some of my other videos, and I guess I'll see you in another video guys.